Well, the wildest place in town is even wilder these days. The Buffalo Zoo has been busy adding new attractions to keep families coming back for more this summer. News 4's Katie Alexander is live there for us, showing us around this morning. Katie, we have seen a lot. What are you looking at now? Well, Kelsey, you'll have to excuse me while I melt into a puddle of goo from the cuteness overload in here. We're looking at the new sand cats, and I am in love with them. This is Christian. He's the communications manager. How can you stand to walk away from them ever? I would stare at them all day long. <laughs> they're pretty cute, aren't they? They're the cutest things <laughs> I think I've ever seen. Well, they're not as uh, cute and cuddly as your house cats. So the uh, Jabbar and Qatar, they're two sand cats. They're brothers. Um, and they're pretty ferocious. A little, they come in a small package, but they're pretty ferocious. Um, they can take down venomous snakes and uh, things that they live in the desert. So they, they have to have, you know, some. They have to have some probably adaptations to be able to live in the desert conditions. Yep, yep. I, I hear they have a lot of fur between their toes. Yep, so the fur between their toes helps them walk on sand. It also keeps them, you know, so regulated body temperature when the hot of the day and the cold of uh, the night in the desert. So they're very well uh, adapted to living in the harsh climates. And how are they adapting to their new exhibit space here in the eco station? So they are. Come, settling in nice here. Um, they've been with us for about uh, 30 days now, um, and we just debuted them not too long ago. But you can see they're, they're exploring their exhibit, they're having fun, uh, they're playing in the sand, um, and the community is falling in love with them. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry you won't have a chance to see them because I'm sneaking them out of my purse, but <laughs> if you get here really fast, you can see them for yourself. The zoo is open every day from 10 to 4. The grounds stay open until 5 o'clock for anyone who's already inside, and there is so much to see and so much to do. If you haven't been to the zoo in a while, you definitely should come out. Reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. So Gabby's bringing back the donuts, and you're bringing back the cute cats that are apparently ferocious. I don't know if I totally believe that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Katie. 838, here's a live look outside. Uh, we'll check in with Mike McQueen in just about 10 minutes. Maybe we'll get a look outside. Here it is.